all makes sense. Fisk becomes the kingpin by eliminating all his rivals with his anti-crime task force. And the public thanks him for it. He writes a few big checks and everyone looks the other way. But it's not just the task force. I've been taking his enemies down too. And the one who's been pointing me toward them is Craven. I can't let him get away with this. I need to know more inside information on Fisk. And I've got an old friend who can get it. See Harry like this. Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But. As an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books. So technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but... After losing my dad and Uncle Ben... I guess I wanted to believe... You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Harry, I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's gotta be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. Is that why Norman started the cross-species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure, but it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it, and protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. But it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes, you still need help. Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood.
Just when you think I can't get any better! If my blood could cure Harry, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat. But it'll take time and lots of research to find out. And he's in no mood to wait. I've put this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him. Kane, thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different from me. I'm, I'm looking into it, I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune! They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross-species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people. Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I... No, no, just, just go. Harry... ...really at the end of his rope. I should have noticed a long time ago, but... I was busy being played for a fool by Craven. I can't believe I fell for his act. But why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? I guess that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. <sighs> Maybe Jonah Jameson and I could be friends if we just understood each other better. <laughs> nah. Craven! Time for a little mentor-mentee chat. You know, discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. Looks empty. Maybe I can still find some answers. He was gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, how to beat them. And how best to set a trap. You're a fake, a coward. This is your idea of a fair hunt? Oh no. It's only the prelude. Good. <laughs> the antidote I gave you should remove all effects of the tranquilizer. I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. All that talk about honor. You lied to me. Betrayed me for the kingpin and his money. That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you would eliminate the kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe I knew you would be. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now we will see who is the hunter and who is the prey. So you used me to take out the Kingpin's rivals. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him talking to me. Cassidy was useful. For a time, he sowed fear at me. He's in the trees. Right before he springs a trap. I can smell your fear. Kid. 
why? So I'd kill him? So I'd feel guilty? Just because you're a sick freak? It was a test <laughs> to see how strong you could be. You could stomach the spilling of blood. Disappointed me. I'm still waiting for an explanation for your mustache. Impossible. I studied you. You are not capable of this kind of fury. You lack a killer instinct. Let's not fight. Ah, never mind. Let's fight. Always one step behind. True. I get as angry as you do. I want to hurt my enemies just as much. The difference is, I know it's wrong. Spot him in those trees, but I have to try. There is no escape. You're saying death isn't defeat? You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven, but you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the kingpin. The truth. Everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask, and I shall answer. I ran into someone who says Kingpin gets test subjects at Ravencroft. How? The institution has lost all government funding. It now relies upon private donors, of which Fisk is the largest, now that Norman Osborne is dead. And they just let him experiment on inmates like some kind of Dr. Chubbenstein? <laughs> they encourage it. They view the inmates as hopelessly damaged. Useful only as test subjects. I know you. You're always checking out your surroundings. You notice everything. Yes, it's true. I met with Fisk in his building, where I took note of the locations of his cameras, weapons, and accessible points of entry. He has a Telec 4566 security system, and I know the passwords. Well, you get a gold star. Draw me a map, and don't leave anything out. The information I have given you will get you inside the building, but you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am. <laughs> guys out of town? I heard it's about that stolen Oscorp tech. Some kind of armor they're trying to get back. So? We need backup now. But they don't care if working stiffs like us get killed. This is my chance to find out what the task force's real priorities are.
I'm not used to driving that kind of truck. Why can't Tony come? Because we're going to see the boss. And only his top guys get to know where he goes when he's not here. So shut up and do your job. <laughs> I had a feeling listening in on those guys might pay off. Now to stick to their truck and let them take me right to the fat man himself. Tell him we've got the delivery. I'll watch the truck. Got it, Bob. The one thing will work on this tour. Ionic weapon. Huh? I have eyes on Spider-Man! Can you at least say some fun bad guy things? Like, <laughs> all the armor in the world can't fix stupid. Spread out. Secure the area. You got it. I want a perimeter set up. All points of entry watched. I'm on it. I catch anyone slacking off, they'll end up padding my arrest stats. Understood, sir. <laughs> Maintain radio contact. Check in every five minutes. I'll spread the word. The boss wants everyone working double shift. I'll tell the boys. Task Force cops working with crooks. No. Who could have possibly predicted that? Except everybody. Man, this armor is sweet. Ain't nothing gonna stop us now. Hey, boy, hey, you. Your armor might look cool, but it doesn't make him any faster. Traffic, a Salvan police officer. You've been busy, Spider-Man. Can't add more crimes to the list. <laughs> And the judges give Spidey a perfect score! Okay, the judges are just in my head, but still. I see him! I learned a valuable lesson today. Kicking bad guys in the face is fun. That's what I'm talking about. Just what I want. what beef you have with a guy in your old... Looks to me like the elite task force wasn't all that elite. I'm sure you're quite pleased with yourself, but the night is young. Oh, come on, what's a spider gonna do? He messes with us. He just gives us an excuse to bust him for assaulting an officer. I'm not sure about the kingpin. I don't like working for a guy whose name I don't know. His money's green. What? Huh? I better check that out. <laughs> Can't use my webbing for a while. Gotta play it smart. Police brutality. Dave, voila! This is my chance to disable their armor. And ionic webbing is just what the doctor ordered. The armor's only as good as the guy inside. And those guys? Not good. Hey, Spider-Man, beat up some more police officers. They'll make wonderful new footage. Come on, show me what you got. <sighs> yeah, he's right here! Show, over here! Shh! Whatever those guys get paid, it's too much. Shit! I'm rapidly losing patience with you! Sometimes, I even impress myself. It really is so no hard to get the healthy yeah. And of course,
course the Daily Bugle never gets pictures of me winning like this. I'll take that. I can check that one off my list. Fellas, I got him! Bam, there he is! I love getting paid to beat punks like you. Can we put forth this week in effort? I gotta do... Spider slam! Yeah. Robots any day. At least robots don't talk your ear off. I may have taken a wreck hand in this sordid matter. just have a future at this. That's what I'm talking about. With great power comes great responsibility. Can't forget that. No more games, Buffalo Butt. Just hate me. Elevator music? This guy's cheaper than Jameson. <sighs> Smells like sweaty fat guys and burritos in here. Well, if it isn't the Kingpin! Catchy name, but I have to say, you look more like a bowling ball than a pin. I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I'm impressed. You take control of crime in New York right under everybody's nose. The whole city knows you're crooked, and everyone still kisses your tookus. Which must take what, like a week? A lot of ground to cover is what I'm saying. The only criminal I see is the masked man guilty of breaking and entering into my private building. A violent vigilante. The Daily Bugle has branded a menace. Fine. Play it like that. But one way or another, you're going down. <laughs> and now you threaten me. I dare say Jonah Jameson will praise me as a hero after I kill you. In self-defense, of course. You said Cletus Cass is loose on the city. Not just to wipe out your rivals, but to scare people. To make things so bad, when you took over, it'd look like you fixed it. And who else is gonna fix things, huh? You? Running around in a costume, acting out some adolescent power fantasy. I live in the real world, Spider-Man. You're so bad. You go camping, prepare, hide their food. Spidey doesn't play favorite. Neither do You're so bad. Your high school yearbook photo was taken from a helicopter. No? Come down here immediately. Yes, I made a fight in myself. don't expect a crime-free utopia. They want a world that makes sense. Where if you stay out of bad neighborhoods, you don't get hurt. They want order. You're wrong. People want justice. They want to know that if they work hard and play by the rules, the same rules everyone else has to follow, it'll be okay. <laughs> what an amusing world you live in. You're so fat, you're the same height lying down.
yourself shaving marshmallow fluff. What do I pay you for? Get down here! So what people want is men like me to make the hard choices. To make the wheels of the world turn so they can work there. Get a cookie at the end of the day. Knowing that someone strong is in charge. Hey man, I get it. You were a bullied fat kid, and now you won't get eaten. So I start a suit. Be my guest. But when you start hurting people, yourself, I'm gonna shut you down. Fool, Spider-Man. I've admitted no wrongdoing, broken no laws. There is no evidence against me. I have proof you paid Craven. No, my task force did. As a security consultant, I am shocked and horrified to hear he's done anything improper. If indeed he has. He was hired for his legendary skills and, and a strong code of conduct that would never allow him to betray a client. Craven might not give you up, but Cassidy will. <laughs> a lunatic like that? Oh, come now. His word can hardly be believed. And besides, a man would have to be a, a fool to deal with someone of his ilk directly. I assure you, I am no fool. I'm afraid, Spider-Man, that you are the only criminal here. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. This is not an action film, boy. Just because you're young does not mean you can hack my security and gain access to my personal... How are you doing that? Huh. Now who's underestimated who? Stop that! I demand you stop... What did you do? I have no idea what you mean. Thank you for showing me my areas of vulnerability. I assure you, they will be gone when you return. <laughs> <laughs> 